Hi, so let me share uh, the screen and uh, let's start. Uh, all right, uh, so uh, can everybody can see my screen right now? Yes. Uh, great. So today we will talk about uh, code op optimization and uh, efficiency. Uh, so um, let's uh, uh, let's have a look uh, into today's uh, topics. So I will start with with, uh, with talking briefly about uh, when to optimize. Then we. Uh, 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 talk about uh, types of optimization and then I will show some uh, examples and I would say good practices for uh, efficient code and uh, yeah and probably we'll have plenty of time for questions if there will be any because we have like reserved an uh, hour and a half and uh, yeah my presentation probably will be uh, much shorter. Uh, all right, so uh, premature optimization is a root of all evil, and probably uh, everyone knows uh, this uh, famous quote. It was popularized popularized by uh, Donald Knott, and uh, uh, basically many people uh, interpret it as. Uh, uh this uh, is uh, this quote misinterpret this quote uh, thinking that uh, optimization is uh, is not important especially uh, nowadays when we have like uh, a gigahertz and uh, uh, gigabytes of memory uh, even in small uh, devices uh, but uh, that's not uh, completely true uh, it's uh, it's more about uh, um, optimization, the uh, uh, not uh, critical code. So, so what the what the what the quote is saying is that uh, before uh, optimizing any code, uh, we should uh, measure uh, we, should, we should measure the the, uh, the critical sections of, of, of the program and then optimize only the stuff that is uh, bottleneck. Because, uh, 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 well, uh, wasting resources on, on optimizing something that don't need uh, uh, optimization is, yeah, it's, it's waste of time, money. Uh, so, uh, so that's that and uh, yeah, basically, we should optimize uh, only the parts uh, that are critical and yeah and should, and does not uh, and, and this this and only that when when this uh, not meet not meet uh, uh, requirements so uh, what types of optimization we have we can optimize our code in, in, for many uh, goals uh, we can optimize for speed or performance, uh, for memory usage, uh, code size, uh, which is uh, also partially uh, uh, connected with memory usage because the program needs to be loaded anyway into the memory, uh, code read readability and uh, code portability and compilation times. And uh, many times uh, this, uh, these points uh, are uh, uh, mutually exclusive uh, uh, exclusive so when we optimize let's say for uh, speed uh, probably uh, there uh, there be some uh, less readability for the code and uh, same when we uh, want a portable code probably it won't be uh, like uh, top performance because uh, wouldn't like uh, wouldn't take uh, take uh, advantages of, of uh, particular like architectures and stuff. And uh, today we will mostly, uh, I would say, uh, focus on performance optimizations. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 
that that was my key uh, uh, goal uh, here. And uh, well, let's let's start with uh, some fundamentals and uh, obvious uh, stuff. So, uh, well, uh, the the uh, the uh, the clean and simple code uh, is is uh, well. Uh, um, <coughs> uh, when when we stick to these four points, uh, we most likely uh, don't need to optimize. Uh, like uh, optimize in 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 the sense of. Uh, uh, the examples I will show later. Uh, so clean and simple code is an important part. So uh, uh, the, the, the code to be readable, uh, not only by us, but uh, by everyone. It's easy to maintain and uh, and uh, easy to uh, introduce to new new people. So this is uh, this is quite important. Choosing the right design for the for our program is also. Uh, uh, it also it's also the key part uh, if uh, for uh, for the program to <coughs> uh, to run uh, run as expected uh, and yeah also correct algorithm uh, it's yeah for for our particular pro problem uh, and of course uh, uh, knowing uh, the compiler options and uh, if there is an opportunity, always it's recommended to use uh, uh, the newest uh, compiler that can be used for the particular uh, situation or, or project. And uh, yeah, today I won't, uh, I won't talk about uh, uh, design patterns or uh, I, I won't talk about uh, which algor which sorting algorithm is uh, is uh, more efficient uh, uh, than other uh, because uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, I would say pre uh, very um, uh, project specific different patterns different algorithm algorithms may be better for specific usage so I will be more general uh, in 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 this this part. So uh, let's talk about uh, functions. Um, well, uh, what what can we do to uh, improve, I would say, our uh, our function speed or, or uh, improving the, the the function calling speed? So we have um, function uh, inlining, which is uh, uh, as probably uh, all of you know, uh, making the function not uh, not being called, but but uh, uh, its body is uh, put uh, in place uh, in the in the in the uh, uh, results uh, binary. So so there is no uh, uh, no uh, branch uh, no branch instruction called. And we have uh, several uh, so, so, <coughs> we have uh, several uh, ways uh, to do it. Let me show you a simple exam example. Uh, let's say uh, we have uh, we have a simple simple program that uh, that calls the function to add to int. Integers, <clears throat> uh, and uh, we have diff different implementations of it. So we have uh, inline keyword. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we can also <clears throat> uh, do uh, function un uh, attribute, which is present uh, in uh, GCC. Uh, also with conjunction with the inline keyword, but uh, using, we can also add this attribute. I will show you in a minute what uh, what does it change. 
and also we can use uh, function like uh, function like macros. So uh, let's let's actually uh, compile this uh, this uh, this programs. As you can see, uh, uh, three binaries are uh, generated depending on which implementations uh, is, is, is used. And as we can see, if we uh, disassemble the uh, binary, we can see that actually uh, the inline keyword is not enough. Uh, our function is uh, still called and we have there it has it has a body so but if we look uh, in to all uh, always inline attribute binary we can see that the actually function has been inlined and there is no add int function it has no address it has been just put in place where it's uh, where it's called so that's the key di difference. I mean, the inline keyword alone is the, is only a compiler hint. Uh, so compiler may or may not inline it, but using the function attribute, uh, it's uh, it's always uh, always inlined. And of course, macro. Uh, if we uh, if we take a look, we can actually see that uh, the macro uh, or macro generated uh, the same code as uh, uh, our function with uh, always inline uh, attribute. Uh, but then again, uh, that's what I said about uh, uh, on the previous slide on the, uh, about the compiler. If we check uh, our uh, if we check our uh, compiler uh, option, we can see that it has optimizing options. So uh, if we take a closer look at, in O1 uh, option, we can see that there is uh, option inline functions called once. So let's let's try it. We have compiled with the same same code, only added options. So let's uh, take a look. And as we can see, our function is inlined. Uh, so yeah, the so my point is uh, there are several uh, several. Uh, ways to uh, tell compiler or hint compiler to uh, inline the function but uh, uh, well but but uh, using different options the outcome can be can be different and actually uh, probably if we would skip the inline keyword and did the optimization uh, flag uh, uh, the option uh, it would be still in line since it's only a one liner. So, uh, so you can see uh, here how the um, uh, how the uh, I would say uh, you knowing the compiler options are are uh, well uh, more important I'd say than than actual uh, than actual uh, uh, way. Uh, we uh, the actual uh, way we we want to inline the the, the function. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. And uh, number of arguments. Uh, that's uh, also I think uh, pretty pretty obvious. I mean, um, if we let's have a look uh, on different example. Uh, this one. So we have uh, let me full screen. Uh, we have 
two functions and the uh, and one is has seven arguments uh, that's our uh, and uh, we, we well, let's say we have function that prints a, a, a person and one is taking the pointer to, to a structure that defines uh, let's say a person uh, and uh, and the second one um, uh, 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 <clears throat> Uh, have seven arguments and each of the argument is, is a part of of the person uh, variables uh, so again if we uh, if we compile it and uh, this assemble it We can actually see that uh, depending on the uh, which argument is it, uh, there is actually uh, sorry yeah here we have main function and uh, that differs between architecture and uh, uh, today sixty bit four bit architectures have many uh, registers so uh, so generally uh, the um, it's good to avoid uh, excessive number of arguments in, inside a function because uh, when there is some, uh, uh, at, because at some point the arguments are not passed through the uh, registers but are uh, pushed on the stack and then function is called and then it has to uh, read the arguments from the stack uh, and then uh, do its job. So it's uh, Slower than 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 uh, passing through the uh, through the register, and as we can see uh, here, uh, we have uh, here we have uh, our our uh, our function that does not uh, uh, take a pointer to the structure, but every every argument is separate, and uh, we can see here that. Uh, Seventh argument is pushed on the stack, so the six arguments are uh, are passed through the uh, registers, but the seventh one and eighth and ninth, if there would be any, also would be pushed on the uh, on the stack, and that's on the sixty bit architecture. Actually, if we would uh, uh, well, if we would use like ARMv seven architecture, I guess. Uh, only three arguments are passed through the uh, registers. Uh, next ones are also pushed on the on the stack. Again, that's that's uh, varies between architectures. And of course, we have uh, a passing by pointer or reference uh, to avoid copying. So everything that is uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh yeah that is a uh, like big structure or uh, or anything like i would say bigger than four bytes it's uh, it's uh, uh, worth considering passing it by pointer or reference and we have restrict uh, keyword for function arguments that uh, hints all the, the compiler that uh, the argument itself only will be accessed through this uh, uh, through this uh, pointer uh, in inside the inside the function scope. Uh, yeah, so that's those are like ba uh, well, I would say basic stuff to uh, keep your uh, function calls fairly uh, optimized. All right, so let's go uh, with the loops. Uh, we have uh, function unrolling, uh, which is basically, uh, well, uh, pasting the, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, I, I say it's self expo explanatory. I mean, we, have a, uh, we don't do a loop, we just unroll it, which means we, uh, we, we have uh, uh, code 
I mean, uh, we, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, we uh, do not, uh, let's say, we want to iterate through uh, array. We don't uh, do a loop. We just uh, paste uh, every, uh, every iteration is based inside the, in, 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 into, into the code. So, uh, so we avoid uh, jumps in, in, in this situation, but the, uh, uh, but the minus of the, of this, of this, uh, uh, of this technique is uh, that we that, that our code base is 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 growing, and uh, let me show you an example. Uh, so we have a simple program, and we have. Uh, uh, static array with uh, uh, 4k elements and let's say we want to uh, we, we want to just sum sum up every every element so we have a loop that's fairly uh, uh, straightforward and uh, let's compare it with uh, with the same actually it uh, with, with code that does actually uh, same stuff, but it's unrolled loop. So we we can do it by uh, oh, uh, forgot to mention that uh, well, loop unrolling is uh, only possible when we know the uh, number of iterations uh, during the compilation. So if the if if the size uh, is uh, well can be determined only in runtime, the loop. Uh, could not be uh, unrolled because it happens in compilation time. And uh, well, uh, of course we could we could do something like this, uh, but of course it would be uh, it would be very uh, very cumbersome uh, to to add in in the code. 4,000 line, uh, for, uh, for, for lines, so we can uh, uh, easily achieve the same by defining uh, some macros, like over here. And uh, actually, if we, uh, if we take a look again about uh, inside the compiled program, we can see that uh, we have uh, our loop over here, which is adding uh, the uh, again the indexes into the accumulator, and then if if the if uh, here is the uh, here's the loop itself, the jump again in, in, to the beginning and and doing this again and again. And we have our, our unrolled loop over here. We have 4K of adding the accumulator. And actually, if we run it, we can see that uh, actually, uh, yeah, that our. Uh, Unrolled loop is uh, is a, a, a little bit uh, faster. Of course, it's a user space programs and everything is running, so the so the uh, so the uh, times may vary. Uh, but uh, uh, if you would take like the average from like hundred runs, we could see that. Uh, Unrolled loop is generally faster, but the code base is, uh, I mean, the, the binary itself will be uh, bigger. Uh, uh, function inversion, uh, it's, uh, well, it's a technique on, that can, uh, uh, that can be useful on some architectures. Some architectures 
have a special instruction an instruction for um, decrementing the uh, value by one and comparing with zero. So, uh, so, uh, so, so doing instead of for loop doing like while minus minus iterator, we could probably on some architectures achieve better results. Function jamming, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, uh, it's, it's a technique where we have uh, uh, same uh, uh, same iterator and two loop uh, two loops that we uh, do even something different. Uh, we could uh, we could well uh, uh, merge the two loops into one and do the computations in the one loop. It's uh, yeah, it's it, it's uh, obvious that will be one loop will be faster than than uh, than two loops and invariant computations means that uh, also we should avoid the uh, uh, the uh, any computations that won't change through during the the loop like we do something with the the same string in the loop so we would say i would say let's say we would need uh, its length so it's uh, not efficient to uh, call uh, str len in every iteration uh, for the same string it would be better to uh, to just uh, do it outside of the loop and and uh, and use uh, uh, and use uh, it as a value uh, of course those stuff are again can be seen by the compiler if we use right options and uh, it will do it for us. Uh, okay, so branching. Uh, generally, it's good to uh, avoid branching, but of course it's not uh, always uh, possible. So uh, there are some techniques to, well, avoid branching when when it's possible uh, one of them is uh, lookup table uh, or uh, which can be done actually let's uh, let's let's say we have uh, uh, our simple program we have a random value that is either one or zero and, and as we can see it's uh, it's uh, uh, very very uh, well maybe it's it's uh, the, the a variable will be off uh, more often uh, non zero value than zero uh, so what you could do here we could Use a compiler hit, which is a, a for GCC is built in expect um, something like this. It would uh, generate the uh, instructions for the for the processor to 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 uh, I would say help him predict the uh, uh, branch. Uh, newer processors have uh, branch predictors we can, that, that, that can uh, predict which branch will be taken and uh, uh, prefetch the, uh, the instructions that uh, uh, that are well that will be needed and some architectures has also given conditional execution like uh, arm architecture uh, so the uh, such compiler hint uh, could speed it up although uh, i think it's not uh, it's not uh, very uh, common to use it because uh, programmers of, of more often than not uh, are really bad at uh, predicting how uh, how 
their program will will work. And actually, the the only uh, place where I saw the compiler hints are uh, Linux kernel. Haven't seen it in any user space program. But then again, it's there, so uh, so it can be uh, used. And uh, yeah, returning to lookup tables, we could uh, instead of branching, because branching makes uh, 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 generally branching is is uh, I would I should start. Because uh, the processor can can't prefetch the the instructions, and because it does not know what instructions will be needed, so uh, lookup uh, table will say a loop uh, like this. And instead of this, if we could do something like this. And we have our lookup table, no branch whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, so that's, uh, that's that. Also, we uh, for like switch cases or uh, or very very long is if else uh, else is, it's it's uh, it's good practice to uh, put uh, the most likely scenario at the top. Uh, it would also it it could also speed 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 up some some things. And and um, also, there are some uh, cache considerations when talking about the, uh, pro our program performance. Uh, so, locality of reference and column manager in multi-dimensional arrays are practically, uh, yeah, it could be merged into one point. Uh, basically, the way uh, modern caches work uh, is uh, uh, well. Uh, during uh, well reading and uh, fetching the the, the uh, memory into the cache, it also fetches uh, 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 neighbor addresses uh, because because uh, uh, because of the uh, also RAM architecture. It's it's uh, it's also faster to to read memory in bulk, not. I would say like one byte or uh, four bytes one by one. Uh, so uh, so if we if we have uh, like our our memory like tightly packed, it's 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 more likely that that when we access one vari variable, when we want to access the second one, it will be already in the cache. So uh, the access will be uh, faster. Uh, also, structure padding. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's good to sometimes to adjust the structure or structure size, just to uh, uh, just to fit nicely into cache. Uh, sometimes it's good. Uh, well, it depends on on, on our situation. Sometimes it's good to uh, well uh, decrease padding to like fit. Uh, cash line, cash line, or or uh, increase the padding to also uh, fit the cash line, in, like multi-threaded uh, programs to avoid, let's say, a full threading problem. Uh, also, we have OS hints, uh, like in Linux, Mad device uh, to hint the operating system. How the memory will be used by us, and what it can do with it, also can help. Uh, well, uh, speed and also the memory usage of our program. 
when when uh, when we hit the OS uh, correctly. And of course, uh, avoiding la large copies is also uh, good uh, good practice uh, because uh, while copying uh, or accessing memory, uh, well, uh, pulls the cache. And if we only do it once, well, it it uh, uh, it it may be not not uh, efficient. And uh, actually, I uh, it's well not example, but uh, uh, it's 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 we can. Uh, I I would like to show you how the <coughs> uh, uh, how. Uh, well, uh, how fast we can we can read something when something is in L1 cache and L2 cache and uh, 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 and how how how, uh, how the speeds differ uh, when 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 we access those those values. So uh, let's let's have a quick look on my uh, processor. We can see here that we have. Uh, L1 uh, dedicated data, data cache, which is uh, 192 kilobytes. But of course, we have uh, uh, six cores. So uh, every core will get 32 kilobytes. Again, uh, those, uh, uh, those values also. Uh, also, L2 cache is is uh, <coughs> should be divided by six, so we have uh, uh, two fifty six kilobytes for uh, for L2, and the L3 cache in in uh, Intel architecture is uh, uh, common for all cores, so it's all max, and we can see and that. Uh, Let's check our accesses for one kilobyte, and oh, let's let's run it again. Okay, actually, our program is yeah. We can see that our program is is getting uh, fairly uh, constant results. Uh, let, let's focus on the mem uh, latency. Uh, regarding of what size do we use, and it will be fairly the same as long as we keep uh, inside our uh, L1 cache. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's it's uh, it's fairly the same. But if I check it for 33 kilobytes, we can see that uh, memory latency increases dramatically. And of course, uh, if we keep uh, growing the the size, it will uh, it will uh, also increase to of course some point. I guess uh, one eighty two should be fairly the same as oh it's it's uh, it's bigger. Uh, but uh, as long as we keep inside the O two cache, the, the the results should be. Uh, should be roughly the same. Uh, well, keep in mind that this is a, a user space application, so many factors come uh, into place. Uh, and uh, when we when we will, um, uh, it, it will increase uh, when we will uh, come near the the fifty uh, the two fifty six kilo. By barrier of L2, uh, but uh, then again, uh, it will increase when we go into L3 uh, cache. Let's say oh, fairly the same. Uh, well. Yeah, this 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 benchmark is not ideal. Just wanted to show you how the uh, and and gets the uh, the best results for the uh, for showing the the difference between L L one and L two cache speeds. 
but then again if we like to um, if we go outside the uh, outside the l3 cache which is 12 max as, as we saw, saw before and the time will be well uh, the latency will be very very uh, big number uh, Yeah, probably we'll end some sometime. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's just an example to visual, visualize you how how the uh, how how keeping stuff inside the cache is is uh, important. Uh, uh, well, yeah, and. Uh, also, we have other stuff we can use to uh, speed up our program. Uh, we have uh, compiler built-ins, which are very uh, helpful. And uh, usually, it's if the <coughs> it's it's an alternative to use like uh, uh, use uh, inline assembler in our program because uh, uh, usually the the functionality of built-ins are uh, mapped. To some specific uh, uh, processor instructions, single or, or couple. But if, uh, for example, uh, some processor do, do, does not have specific instruction, like 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 let's uh, let's say a pop count, which uh, which uh, uh, counts the uh, number of ones in 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 uh, unsigned integer. So if we call the built-in pop count on uh, x86 uh, it will generate the single instruction which, which will be pop cnt uh, but if the the some architecture do, do, does not have such uh, does not have such uh, uh, instruction uh, well the best software implementation will be used also uh, simple operations uh, uh, using simple over operations uh, our uh, instructions are also uh, maybe beneficial to some extent uh, again uh, compilers when 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 uh, often uh, know uh, knows better when to use it or or not but uh, for uh, for some application it it is uh, uh, well it, it it can be used um, and of course, hardware acceleration. Uh, when we uh, when we when we work on some device, uh, it's it's sometimes it has dedicated hardware to do some job, so it's good to take advantage advantage of it. Of course, such code wouldn't be uh, portable, but like I said at the beginning, uh, there are some well, well the the optimizations may be. Uh, are often uh, uh, mutually ex ex uh, excluded. So, yeah, that's that's that. Oh, yeah, our program finished. As we can see, we have huge latency. Also, memory throughput also suffered. So, uh, so, uh, so yeah, and it's about two orders of magnitude slower than using l1 cache so so uh, so that's that's that and also with uh, with uh, uh, performance optimizations it also uh, it's, it's also good to consider uh, <coughs> uh, processor uh, pipeline uh, of course we if we, when we use the uh, when we use uh, only C code, the compiler will probably uh, will manage manage this for us. But when we use like inline assembler or uh, built-ins or or uh, uh, synced operations, uh, it's well, it's something we we should take in mind. Uh, keep in mind that that uh, uh, to, to 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 keep uh, keep keep the uh, 
uh, CPU pipeline busy. Uh, yeah, and that's that's about it. Thanks for uh, attention. And so, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.